What's up? This is a new moon pick a pile for work. If you're interested in love, the highlight on my Instagram page that says YouTube will bring you to the love pick a pile or you can do both, bitch. So let's pick a pile. Okay, this is going to be number one. I don't know why they want to get a little crazy today. Must be that Aries new moon energy. But point is this is number one. Okay, number one. This is number two. And this is number three. Um, you can just click and scroll on the bottom of the video. I will hold it up. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you can um, find the time stamps below. Okay, let's start with pile number one. Number one, this is selenite. So maybe um, you have an interest in selenite. This is really good for clearing your energy and clearing other crystals. So maybe some of you need to clear your Aura, um, go take the workshop. It has an energy cleanse at the beginning and I will help you. Also, make sure that you are clearing all of your crystals because they pick up energy and you need to clean them, okay? Um, oh, justice, okay. Okay, some of you are really focusing on negotiations, new contracts, agreements. You will get your answer. This is also finding more balance. Some of you need to consult with a lawyer or maybe you are a lawyer and you are getting a lot of requests. People want to see what you're doing. They want to see how you're doing it. I feel like there's a lot of like prestige here um, or some of you are dealing with other uh work agreements or a focus on how you're going to really level up so that other people can be like, wow, like I'm feeling like there's this notoriety and people are really, um, maybe an award also, like there's something big about whatever this project is or whatever this um, work agreement is, whatever. So uh, finding the balance, making sure you guys are finding the balance because it can't be work, work, work always. You have to slow down also. I'm really hearing rest, like rest, like when you plant all of these seeds, when you're doing all the things that you think you need to do to make something happen, that's good, but you can't do that 100% of the time. You have to be ready to slow down, take a break, because that, when you're taking the break, that is when you're going to get more ideas, more perspectives. You're going to meet new or other people and you're going to connect with them and you're going to hear what they have to say. It's going to inspire you to maybe adjust your plan or adjust your project, etc. So you can't do that when you're consumed and you're distracted because you're constantly thinking, I need to keep going, I need to keep going, I need to keep going. You don't, you need to slow down. So this group needs to take a break um, and maybe not today, but over the next cycle through this month, make sure that you're taking time to rest. Okay. Some of you also may be dealing with a Libra. Um, oh, we're okay. Maybe the letter L is coming up for some of you. I'm also seeing a C number seven and six and nine. Now, whoo, we've got nine of, oh, bitch. What did I just say? Notoriety. This is Notoriety. People are noticing you. I also feel like you're ready to move into a new level of collaborations because you've accomplished a lot on your own or right now we're still accomplishing a lot, but soon you're gonna be like, I don't even want these things. Like I won, you know, I've got the nine of cups reversed. It's like, I valued all of these things and now I have them and I'm thinking, do I even really wanna continue doing that? Do I wanna continue investing my time, energy, money, resources? into these same things. I feel like I already mastered this. I've gained that skill, so why continue to go through the same thing? I wanna switch it up. And I think when you switch it up, you're gonna notice a lot of your clients or a lot of these people start following you. Like, people want to see you do well. People wanna support you. And if you're surrounded by people who don't wanna support you, who don't wanna see you do well, I feel like jealousy is a big thing here. It's also a Leo energy coming up. But like, I just, I don't know, some people are jealous. You need to drop them, you need to let them go. You need to plant those seeds for the new opportunities, the new expansion, the new abundance because it's coming, it is coming. And like, you just need to find the balance so that you can receive it all because you can't receive when you're constantly going and going. Remember I said that. Now, yeah, Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. Some of you are not prioritizing yourself. You're not prioritizing your health. Some of you for sure need to put the coffee down. You need to focus more on teas, um, like no caffeine or less caffeine. It's like 
chill. You need more water because when we drink water, our cells are more um, able to pick up the energies and understand what is happening around us. We can like sense things better. So if you're really dehydrated, it's not gonna help. So overall for group number one, I see a lot of success for sure is coming. You need to be patient and you need to let go of those things, those people, those places, the projects that you don't really value, you don't see them. Or if you're not feeling valued with these people, then leave. That is the universe showing you that they don't care. They don't want to support you properly. So fucking dip, bitch, bye. You know what I mean? It's like, ciao. So like, queen of cups, reverse, maybe a cancer. Um, I'm hearing Aquarius, but Scorpio or um, Pisces energy, I don't know, someone doesn't want to commit, someone doesn't want to give you what you deserve, someone doesn't want to, or you, you're saying, I don't want to continue to give, 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 because y'all bitches be draining me, you know what I mean? So prioritize yourself, your mental health also, and I feel like maybe um, secrets are coming out uh, related to a letter L again, so... Keep that in mind, okay? I love you. If you are interested in a love, pick a pile. Go check my highlights. One says YouTube and there is a love, pick a pile there. Also take the new moon workshop. I will help you invite in the love, the abundance, the money, etc. I love you. Ciao. Also share this because like these are free. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Pile number two. Pile number two. Pile number two, two, two. This is Rose Quartz. This is all about love, self-love. I think you need to figure out how to love what you do or you are now finding more opportunities to do what you love. That's the kind of vibe I am getting from this Rose Quartz. I'm also feeling like you need to make yourself a priority. I feel like some of you people from pile number one stay, it's fine. But like, yeah, there is a connection here with that idea of prioritizing yourself and your mental health. Um, okay, we've got nine, nine of swords here. It's interesting because there's a lot of ideas. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with all of the ideas, all of the perspectives. Maybe there are other people who are giving you these ideas and you're thinking, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I'm trying to figure out what is best for myself, but I can't think because I have all these other opinions, all these other ideas, all these other people wanting me to do something. Or at some point in your past, up until now, you picked up a lot of other people's energies, them telling you, you can't do that or you need to do this. And it's like, I don't wanna follow your fucking structure. I don't care. I don't wanna do your thing. I'm not living your life. You go and live your life. You fuck up your own shit. I don't wanna be involved. I'm focusing on myself. And the positive thing about this one is that there is a lot of opportunity for growth. Like look at all of the foliage. Like there's a lot of plants, flowers in this, a lot of flowers. So like, I see that there's maybe a lot of ideas that are budding, like they're just starting to pop up or over the next cycle. And again, today is the new moon in Aries, so we have a new cycle beginning. This is also the first moon of the new energetic year, so this is big. So like go take the workshop also, link in bio, bitch, don't be lazy because I will help you plant these seeds and you have Seeds that have already, like seeds that you've already planted that have grown, but it's like, uh, I feel like there's like pruning, pruning. It's like, oh, uh, I got to cut these ones off. Some of these are toxic. Some of these are a waste of time. So like now you have opportunity to release that and to invite in the new, okay? First one, bitch, what did I just say? Death reverse. Death reverse. This is release. We are still going through that. And right now, Pluto is in Capricorn, which means there is a death and a rebirth of our old structures and cycles, etc. So you have to let go. Some of you dealing with Scorpio energy. I don't know. Maybe some of you are letting go of a Scorpio. Uh, letter T is coming through and there's an M. Yeah, I got a 10 of cups here reversed too. 10 of cups reversed. It's not sustainable. It's not going to work out. This is a bad thing deal. You made a bad deal. Or you need to accept that it was a good deal up until now, but bitch, you've grown. You have grown and you have outgrown these people because they're not doing the work. I'm hearing like some of these bitches are lazy and you just got to let them go. Okay. Chariot reverse. Chariot reverse. I feel like this, ugh, I don't feel success here. Or I really, really wanted this and now I have it. I got it. But like, I'm just not 
I'm not feeling it. I don't like it. I don't want this. I thought it would be really, really good, but it's not. Some of you need to go back and watch pile number one because there's a connection here for sure. Um, letter S is coming through also, and I have that cancer energy. This is deep emotion. It's a lot of emotion to let go of these people, but when you let go, you have more available space to invite in the new. So go take my workshop. I will help change your life. It's under 30 minutes. It's pay what you can. Don't be fucking lazy. I promise. Like, act. Act now, okay? Um, also, if you want a love... Pick a pile, go check my highlights, the YouTube highlight, click and swipe up. It will directly bring you there. This is pile number three. Pile number three, we have cat's eye tourmaline. Okay, cat's eye tourmaline. This is really good for protection. So some of you need to protect your energy, protect your resources, protect your vibe because other people trying to take advantage of you, steal your credit, I'm hearing. It's like, fuck them. You worked your ass off. You need to trademark something. You need to copyright something. You need to just like security. Like there's maybe web security that needs to happen. I've got three of swords. I wanna see what else I got. Mm. Boundaries. I have two of coins. Some of you thinking like, do I want to continue working with these people? I don't know because I feel like I'm on this hamster wheel and it's just like, some of them are lying. And again, we've got that knight, that knight of swords reversed. Like some people are impulsive. It's like they do something. Also, I'm hearing if you let other people speak, so you should listen more or you've already been listening more than you're speaking because other people will tell you more than you think. I Trust me, I promise you, let other people talk because when they talk, they will say something that will trigger your awareness and you will understand what to do next, okay? Because this three of swords reverse, I feel like there's just something happening behind your back. Maybe there's backstabbing or there's people trying to like trick you. Um, some of you need to establish, I got the six of coins energy. You need to establish boundaries with how much you give. Some people are lying about what they have or about what they want. They're like, oh yeah, I really, I need all of this. I need so much. I need all of these resources. This is what I need. But they're lying because there's like selfishness there or something about the situation is like, I feel like there's maybe two people that are like, Planning something. This is not for everyone, of course. Letter N is coming through and a C. But like, there's just... And a 733. I don't know what that's about. But there is something here about like... Like planning. And it's like, it's like sneaky. So I don't like that. Maybe some of you also need to plan how to escape. Plan how to leave this situation. And that is what needs to be secret. You don't need to tell everyone, I plan to leave. Because then they're going to react. So you want to... Plan your exit first and then announce it later. You know what I mean? I'm also feeling like now this lesson has really taught you, oh, I know how to invest my time, energy, money into the proper structures um, where I'm still keeping some for myself because you're learning to prioritize yourself. Um, some of you are now like, there's an energy here. There's an energy here of lack and... Ugh, Everyone makes fun of me because I say scarcity, scarcity, but I think it's scarcity. Anyways, fuck all y'all. <laughs> I love you. But like some of you are focused on lack and scarcity. So um, now you're understanding that's not like helping me invite in more abundance when I'm constantly thinking about scarcity or you're noticing that the people around you are thinking like that and you're like, I can't be here. I can't continue to socialize with these kinds of people because like they're draining me. I feel like some of the people around you are, it's like you're a boss ass bitch and you're trying to level up and you're doing the work, but these other people are either jealous or lazy or they don't understand their behavior. They don't understand how their decisions and actions are negatively impacting their own lives and they're expecting you to help them, you to do everything for them. It's like, bitch, I don't have time for you, okay? So we're letting them go. We need to invite in healthier relationships, more abundance, and you have it. This is a new moon in Aries, so it's the new spark. First moon of the new year, bitch. It's like you need to take the new moon workshop, okay? I will help you invite in all of the abundance. Share this on your Instagram. Tag your friends below. I love you. If you're interested in a love reading, the um, highlight on my Instagram page that says YouTube, click on that. It will go directly to a love reading for this new moon. 
I love you. I will see you soon, bitch. Hey, bye.